Stillman wireless uh, chassis here. I've never used it, but I'm going to try it out. Got a receiver, four transmitters. Doodads here to plug in on the end of the transmitters. Looks like a plug in like this here, I'd say. Plug in the top. Look this to whatever you want to listen to or touch it, I'd say. And uh, I thought I'd just try it out and hook it on the rear end and see what the wheel bearings sound like. So I'll just use two of these receivers here. Got a little switch on there. Turn it on. Comes with a little bag. It's got Ziploc ties and some uh, grips there. I think I'll use these here so they don't fall off. And uh, I don't know where I'm going to hook them up to, so I'll take the camera along, see if I can't figure out how to do this here. Okay, Let me crawl underneath here and put one up here somewhere. Uh, Uh, well, I guess I need to tie it somewhere. Maybe, uh... Yeah, where's a good place? Maybe right up in that hole right up there, I'd say. Hang on a minute. I'll tie one up here somehow. Let's see. It's got a thing right back here. You can just see if I have that backwards. Look at you. It needs to go like this here. And uh, let's tie it up here. Oops. Okay. okay. I uh, put it right up here on the frame. And uh, maybe you want to clamp it here, maybe. Let's put close to the wheel bearing here. Maybe just hook it right down here, maybe. Better spot. And I'll just do the same on the other side here. Ouch, I hit my head. It's not good. Okay. Let's grab another high strap. Go over here to the other side. Do the same thing. Yeah, it looks like I got a spot to put that in there. Just, I guess, uh, I'll strap through here. Okay, oops, missed the hole, didn't I? There it is. Just hook it up here, like so. Okay, and it's on, and uh, Duh, let's see, where can you see it? Let me see. And the uh, red light's on, let me hook it right down here. Right here. Excellent here. 
Okay, so I got the... I think the other one's on, but I guess I gotta go over and check it. I don't remember if it was on or not. Okay. Uh, nope, it's not on. So, let's turn it on here. Okay, I got it on. Put this stuff away here. And I guess I'll turn it on here. And it's got like four channels. There's two or four channels there. Or actually it's got six channels. Little blue in there, you go. Okay, they seem to be working, so we'll take her out for a cruise and see what it sounds like. Okay, here's uh, number one making that, making some sort of clicking sound. I don't know what it is, but it's on the uh, passenger side. That's what it sounds like there. And uh, the sound went off there. I don't know what happened there. That's what it sounds like. Uh, anyway, uh, the rear end, it seems like it's fine. So. I mean, I can't tell anything wrong with the rear end. It's right down the road. Uh, that completes uh, the rear end. Okay, let's uh, try one of these here uh, on the motor. Let's uh, start the motor up, engine, whatever you call it. And uh, Okay, I'm going to try this uh, 
uh, Steelman uh, wireless chassis ears on this uh, rear end here just to see what bearings sound like if you're or the rear end just see what it sounds like okay I'll uh, take this thing here and uh, I'll be flipping on there and turn the volume up I guess I might have to move this thing closer, maybe. You hear it spinning the uh, gears in there. Spin the ring, ring gear there, on the pinion or whatever, I think. Oh, feedback. Okay, let's move it a bit further away from me. That's what that sounds like. Let's try the other side. Whoa, feedback. Okay, let's try this side, see what it sounds like. good or a bad sound but that's what this rear end sounds like and I think it's got some bearings wore in it I think well I mean I'm sure it does but if it wore out I don't know the yoke spinning around Of course, it don't have any load on it, you know, if you have it. But that's what that sounds like. 